to be here. We go to start to perform ESM tests. Okay, sure. Uh, now it's engineer department, but well, uh, we are talking about the trial and test that, that we do with Nokia between uh, Lua 1, uh, Sanganu to Miami. That's a direct path on optical layer that we can say. And this direct path uh, have uh, two, uh, two great uh, points that we are talking today. It's the latency because we are growing down with the latency between Africa to US. And the second point is the largest path, largest in kilometers and miles. Well, uh, we are using uh, Saks and Monet integrated and create a, a direct lead path. Uh, just for, I, I, I can say the Saks system, it's a system from Angola cables between uh, Sangano to Fortaleza and uh, have uh, two landing points, the landing point in, in Sangano uh, and the other in Fortaleza and Monet. It's another subsea cable system, starting in Santos, uh, landing in Fortaleza and goes to Miami in Boca Raton. Well, uh, the idea of this test, of this uh, trial, it's integrate both systems in single layer transmission or single transmission and creating one express hold to one ex express lane, including light path between uh, Sangano to Miami. And Nokia been, yes. well, can explain the distance of what we do, what, what the transmission layer, what the optical layer, and after we are showing running and showing uh, one application that uh, IP networks of uh, uh, Angola cables. No Very good. So, in order to facilitate the interpretation of not, not, not so technical issues, yes. so what we are doing here in effect is integrating the two cable systems in one single pass of yeah, that's it. That's it. Imagine, Nunes, that in, in past, I have the one cable system and go down, go at landing, create a DWTM system, put in back to back, take the signal, put in another, another DWTM and go. But we don't do it. We create in one switch layer okay. and this switch layer forwarding the light directly, but Patricia can explain yes, better. Yes, correct. So without any regeneration is exactly the point that we try to bring. So basically, we got a two termination point, one in Angola and one in North America in Boca, and in Fortaleza we just bypass. We are not terminated exactly as I've been explained. For that specific system, as you say, we reach an extremely long distance. 12,600 kilometers in what we call in one shot. The system that we're going to use it, what we use it specifically, is a, the Nokia's 1830 PSS family gear. So photonic service switch, the name is a 1830s. As you can see in the right sides and the left sides are the terminal, terminal stations. So when the traffic does it come in and come out from the other sides. In the middle, we use you know, just bypass node based on rodent technology. In the terminal sides, what you can see it in the very sides is our photonic service engine coherent cards. Is our transponders in this specific case we use the D5 X500. Okay. As mentioned before, the latency is the main point and this is the size because when you are not regenerating clearly your straight pie path does it bring the lower latencies. And these are an amazing result. Yeah, yeah, say. really, really. And uh, how many channels that we have? Uh, so it's, uh, we shooting now 100 gigs lenders. So the lenders is 100 gigs. And I know that in the future we got uh, actually uh, next steps. The system can carry up to 111 lenders to 100 gig each. So I believe that we target terabits. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for the future. I think in the near future <laughs> we're going to target the terabits. Oh, yes, you will have a lot of bandwidth exactly. and the customer to carry. Exactly. This yeah. is a very good news. So it means that the, the test that we are now doing is not the final test. So we keep doing yeah, yeah. the performance of this test because we are, want to prove a better improvement about Absolutely. this cap capability and capacity that is available 
in a single wavelength. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, and, and what is the gains that we have from this? Could you show us some e some of the proving games that we have? Yeah, uh, just uh, change here. I well, the live test is a live test. We okay. are connecting to Angola Cables router in Miami, in Boca Raton, and uh, I made the test, the transmission from uh, Sangano. I repeat again, but well, uh, the latency it's. 124 milliseconds. That's it. Uh, yeah, but uh, this test is for it's for engineer. Okay. Goes to how turn and start pings or whatever. What's the the test on, on the the live persons or the production text? I access the public looking glass. It's okay. public and which person can do it? Access looking glass. LG, LG dot Angola cables dot CO dot AO, that's our public and we can do a test but I take a services from Akamai in uh, New York okay why New York why not I do it in Miami because I need the routing in IP routing into the US because I think it's better uh, it's not going path to path it's uh, it's not using uh, I think the person's not going exclusively to Miami but need routing in US and we, we take a, a point in Miami from uh, external like Akamai because Akamai it's when a content delivery network well and uh, for you can see uh, the latency between Cape Town to New York it's 190 for example in our network with Nokia path with Nokia photonic path but the great point is only for hopes we start in Cape Town, goes to Sangano, after it goes to Miami, Miami, New York, New York, Akamai. That's it. And that is what brings the latency so low. Yeah. But when you compare for another components, for example, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, start in Cape Town and goes to New York, pop a pop for this component. For example, uh, we can see 2027. Okay. But Oh, oh. What that means is that from, 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 the, from the people that we are uh, in competition, so our latency decreases already. We can prove on this is open. Yeah, Therein that's can, open. We can get access to that, that we drop the latency quite significantly. Yeah, yeah. We, we drop the latency. It's open. All persons can be tested, including just access uh, Angola Cable website and can do it. But okay. when you compare others, it's All very right. amazing because I compare and take on one great, great case. But in worst case, I take one another another network for one tier one, for example, wherever. Uh, we have a latency for same destination starting Cape Town also, 300 milliseconds. Wow. So that's that's very sexy. So it means that SAX is really putting a quite big difference yeah. in terms of the market uh, latency path. Yeah, but latency, it's not good. I think it's hope it's good. When you compare hopes, I take another. The normal path between uh, Cape Town or South Africa to US, it's taken South Africa, London, London, New York, and New York, well, US. But Angola Cables does not use this path. We are using Fortaleza and, and now directly path. Yes. Okay. We have the directly path. You can see that we have uh, 11 hopes in in another company, or maybe maybe more, but we have only four hopes, just four hopes. That's it. I mean, uh, it, it proves that this concept is quite interesting, and and, and, and it's make a huge difference for the South African market, okay? Because we can drop the latency. We yep. have let's pass even with the existing and concurrent cables that are now in competition with us. Yeah, 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 Nunes, I think. And I think, uh, I think have another opportunities to connect to Asia. Because if you mind that we have a short path, and not only short path, but short hopes, only only one hope, uh, for example, Cape Town, Cape Town to uh, Tsangano and Tsangano directly to US. Imagine a cable to came to South Africa from Asia, for example. Came here, maybe Eisenfrontier also. 
either proteins go through Sangano and Sangano takes sacs and go directly to US. It's possible. That's very interesting. Yeah. So what do you think? Yes, and we're looking forward for further collaborations, looking forward for our terabits, making the terabits connectivity between the two countries. Definitely, as he mentioned, is a, a great opportunity because now instead of doing all the steps up to Europe, down to North America, is a straight connectivity and we prove we can do with our regenerations. So we're looking forward for further collaborations. Absolutely. That's great, that's great. One of the things that we are trying to promote is really to bring the internet to the southern hemisphere and then we can prove that it's possible because with these latencies and with these single hopes we will probably really bring the internet down as soon as we can. Possibly. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Thank you. very much for your test and congratulations you. to you all. Thank you. Thank you and so much.